how do we design that service reservoir? So you should be using mass diagram or hydrograph. Okay. If you look at an example here, read the questions. Calculate the distribution storage needed for both equalizing demand and fire reserve. Okay. So calculate the distribution storage needed for both equalizing demand and fire reserve. As you remember, the storage reservoir not only to equalize demand, is also needed for fire reserve. Only demands on the day of maximum water consumption are given in table one. If fire flows requirement is six liters per second for a duration of three hours. Right. We need to know the volume of that storage reservoir. So the volume of storage reservoir, okay, is equal to. Can I write it down? Perhaps I probably I can write. It. So, volume of service reservoir is equal to volume equalizing demand plus volume of fire reserve. So I think the easiest part is to calculate the volume of our fire reserve. Okay, so let's just do that first. Volume of fire reserve. Okay, so storage required to provide the entire fire reserve is equal to the flow rate times the duration. Okay, storage, uh, the, the flow rate for the fire is 60 liter per second for a duration of three hours. So if you can calculate this, 63 liter per second times 3 hours. So this is the flow rate, 63 liter per second times the duration of 3 hours. So you need to times with the conversion factor. Hour and second does not match. That means you have to times uh, certain value okay? until uh, seconds and hour will be cancelling each other out. And then that value of liter need to be changed into meter cube. Okay. So let's try to do that first. So in that sense, is this is 63 liters times 3 hour. So this is the conversion unit, 3600 seconds per hour. Okay. And divided by 1000 liter per minute. So you'll be able to find out that the volume is 680.4 meter cube. Okay. So that is the storage reservoir. I'm sorry, the, the fire demand for the storage reservoir, 680.4 meter cube. So basically, we already got that value, and that is equal to, okay, something that we still don't know, the first part, plus 640 point, which I can remember, uh, 680.4, 680.4 meter cube. So that is the fire reserve. So we have already got the first part. So we like to find out the equalizing demand. How do we do that? Right, this is where you need this table. Okay, normally in the exam or even in the test, you will be given only these two columns of data. First column is times, and the second column will be hourly consumption of water in liter per second or meter cube per second. Okay, does not really matter. And only these two columns will be given to you. In your book, you can see there are four columns, if I'm not mistaken. Okay? Uh, in the real exam or in test, you will be only given the first two columns. So, how do we understand this uh, table? Right, we're starting with midnight. This is at 12 o'clock midnight, okay? Starting the, uh, we've just started the, our uh, stopwatch. So uh, the amount of water at that time is only 0, 0.0 liter per second. So at one o'clock, okay, the rate of consumption of water is 14.4 liter per second. Okay? 
So we have to times with one hour. So because we would like to know the amount of water in one hour. So 14 liter in one second. So we know one minute, okay? There are 60 seconds. So you have to times 14.4 times 60. Okay. And then uh, in one hour, there will be 60 minutes. So that means 14.4 times 60 times 60. So we know the amount of water in one hour. Okay. And the amount of water in one hour is actually 51,000 liters and 840. So in your notebook, it says that um, the volume is actually 52,000 liters. So they are just uh, round out the number. They are rounding up the number. That's why you got 52,000 liters. So basically the third column is something that we have to find out ourselves. Okay? Because they have already given you all this data. So let's say that you would like to know the volume being used at uh, from 6 o'clock to 7 o'clock. That means they are using 30.5 liters per second. That means this value has got to times 60 and times 60 to get the, the real volume being used for that one hour, which is 109,800 liter. And for the fourth column, okay, this is the cumulative, the cumulative consumption. Okay, what do I mean by cumulative? That means we start with zero at uh, 12 o'clock, and then after one hour is 52,000 liter water. That's why the cumulative is 52,000 liter, uh, liter water being used. And then the second hour also they are using 50,000 liter. So you just add up these two values. Okay. So at the end of 24 hours, this is the total of water being used for that particular area. So the fourth column is basically the cumulative volume of water being used at certain area. So once you have already got all this data, then we need to plot a graph in order for us to, for, uh, to find out the volume of equalizing demand. Okay, the volume of this equalizing demand, that's what I mean, okay. At this moment, do you understand my lecture? Okay, something. 